Flying Classroom, I'm in Kingston, Jamaica, my homeland and country of birth. Do you know the human eye is actually one of the most powerful instruments in our bodies? Till this day, mankind has not figured out how to utilize technology in order to replicate the capability of the human eye. Now, why is this important? Well, behind me, I'm working with Orbis, the Flying Eye Hospital. Do you know in the Caribbean and throughout the world, over 253 million people battle blindness and about 75% of it can be easily cured. I partnered with Orbis, the Flying Eye Hospital, to show you guys how they combine science, technology, engineering, and math in order to create a real life Flying Eye Hospital. This is the Flying Eye Hospital. It's an onboard eye care facility that's able to give the highest level of eye care no matter where we are in the world but it's really designed to teach. We've got a classroom and now a state-of-the-art simulation center. Just like you train pilots with simulation, we're now training doctors, nurses, and anesthesiologists using the same technologies and the same training. This Flying Eye Hospital is a US accredited hospital. This plane has its own electrical system, its own water filtration, its own oxygen concentrators, and its own server. I can show you whenever the eye moves. Oh, it moves like it a moves, real eye. It moves like a real eye right there. It's a three millimeter space when you're doing a surgery. So you have to really practice from just handling the instruments. And then it goes on to more difficult steps as it goes until you actually simulate a fake emulsification cataract surgery. This gentleman uh, is uh, only 48 years old, which is actually pretty young for our patient. Um, although young, he had pretty big cataracts, very dense cataracts, and uh, in fact, they were uh, leading him to have such poor vision that he would be labeled as legally blind. He was 2200 in uh, vision in, in each eye. Oliver, uh, uh, we did uh, cataract surgery on uh, uh, one of his eyes. The process involves removing the cataract, and the cataract is the natural lens of the eye that focuses the light. And so now we use a micro incision, a very small incision of about two millimeters, and go in with an opaque emulsification tip that effectively changes the lens into a dust and vacuums it out of the eye. We then implant an acrylic lens in its place to focus the light and seal the eye closed, and uh, the patient comes out of the surgery. Already on the first day post-op, uh, we saw that he could see about 2040, which means that he could really drive a car if that was his only eye. And that's a big, big difference uh, from going from legally blind to being able to drive one day after surgery. You look around the world and there are so many people uh, that have blinding diseases, that have lost vision, and because of this, they can't function, they can't do their jobs, they can't provide for their families, they can't take care of themselves. And we know that we can provide help, we can provide surgery, we can provide medications and the right care to reverse or help so many of, of these patients. 